That's a good question. There's a lot, uh, a lot at stake of this election. What do I hope this election changes in my life? Um, I hope this election puts a lot more focus on climate change for me because I think that's the largest issue that faces my generation and also the world. Um, and as much as different policies are important, like talking about healthcare and housing and infrastructure, none of that's gonna matter if we're not around to work on it in 20 years. I hope they improve um, healthcare. I live day to day being a handicapped. Sometimes wanting to get up in the morning is hard for me because just don't want to face the pain. If I could say something to the leaders, I would say, well, live in my shoes for a while. I think that the next government of Canada really has to look at our energy policy and really has to bring back those types of decisions that are going to bring investment back here to Alberta. My name is Mike and I'm, you know, I'm part of the lower income class and affordable housing doesn't exist in Canada these days. It's hard enough to make a living to pay for daily costs. The food prices are increasing. And we need to take care of the homeless situation across Canada. Very skeptical that my life will change at all based on the election results. My husband has been out of work for two years from the slow down in the oil patch and trying to retrain into a new industry. So I think it would be very important for me that this election helps boost the Calgary economy and gets my family back to work. I have an aging mother with Alzheimer's and it's a two-year wait to get her into a home. So that would be nice if there was uh, some more funding toward that. I am a truck driver. I'm not as busy as I used to be. The last few years have been a real big downslide for the trucking economy. And it, yeah, in order to move forward, we need a change. I'm not a spring chicken, so I hope that they do something with pensions. Um, I hope it brings climate change for the young people. My kids and their kids are going to have to be the ones to suffer for all the mistakes we've all made. If I could say something to the future leaders of Canada, I would say, be honest, be open, look for our future generations. They're the ones that are counting on you now.